Hi everyone, welcome to the fashion drawing tutorial of the mini fashion arts box for Procreate brushes. This tutorial will guide you to use every brush to create this drawing. If you don't have this brush set, you can still follow along to learn the fashion digital drawing using the Procreate as well. I made two versions of this tutorial. This one is a short version with some time lapse. Another video is a full version, uncut, no speed up, more like a classroom demonstration, which you can find the link in the description area, or I'll put it right here in this video so you can click and start to watch from there. Before we dive in further, let me explain a bit about the style of this drawing. There are numerous drawing styles that Procreate can produce, but this tutorial is more or less taken from the style of the real marker fashion illustration, so you can actually use the same technique for the drawing on the marker paper as well. Okay, let me go over what are inside the mini fashion art box and where you can get them. You can buy the mini fashion art box brush set in my Etsy shop, which you can find the link in the description area of this video. I love, love, love my brushes so much because I created them in a way that really represent real markers that I've been using for almost 20 years since my school days. There are eight brushes in the set. First, these two marker brushes are very similar to the actual twin brush marker which has one side the fine brush tip and the other one is the broad tip. There is a marker blender which is really awesome, so easy to use for blending. And there is also a fashion figure template stamp which makes drawing super easy. And other brushes are the Sketch Basic, Sharp Colored Pencil, Inky brush and paper texture brush. You'll also get a color palette that I use in this sample drawing and you'll get a sample page and a coloring page files as well. Okay, now let's start. The canvas size that I use is an A4 size with 300 dpi. First brush we're going to use is the figure template stamp. Now, let's create a layer for the figure template. Choose black color and choose the brush size to fit the page. Stamp it on the page and adjust the size and the position. Then adjust the opacity to maybe about 18 to 20 percent. And I'm going to name it figure. Create a new layer for the design. Use the Sketch Basic brush to draw the garments and accessories. This is my all-time favorite sketch brush because I can use it for many purposes such as drafting or drawing a finished look like the one I'm doing right now. I sketch it carefully because I plan to use this layer for the actual sketch outlines. I use this brush for drawing the makeup as you will soon see it. By the way, if you want to learn more about how to dress the figure template, Professionally, I have an ebook and a paperback version available on Amazon.
Now this is what it looks like without the figure. Next, create a new layer for the body outlines. Use the dark brown color and continue to use the sketch basic to draw the outlines. Start from above the ears and just stretch along the figure templates. Draw the eyebrows where the mark starts and gradually build up the arc shape. Now let's draw the hair. First, I'm going to create a new temporary layer to draw the hair shape. Set the opacity to about 40%. From the eye level up, divide into three parts. And the upper part will be where the crown or the hairline starts. When you finish the shape, create a new layer and I'm calling it hair outlines. This layer is where I'm gonna draw the hairlines. We are ready to color. Create a new layer for body color 1. Choose the lightest skin color for the color base and select Route Marker Brush. Now select the colorless marker blender brush and lightly work it out. I just tap tap or lightly stroke so it doesn't totally blend too much. When I'm done with the base color, I'm gonna create a new layer for body color 2. Choose the medium skin color and use the fine brush marker. Work on the body contour or shading in this layer. I've just switched to the brush marker 
to control the legs where it's more suitable for the larger area. I'm done with the medium color and I will be working on the deepest skin color. Use the fine brush marker to define the contour area. This time, apply finer strokes to each spot to give your work some more dimension. When you use the marker blender, be careful not to blend too much, otherwise you may lose the depth of this shade. Now, I'm going to work on the hair color. I used the light brown for the hair base color. And I used the broad marker for the coloring. Adjust the opacity of the color so that we can create the tonal color layering. I increase the opacity back to normal so that the color will be darker. It just gives more dimension to the hair texture. Next, I'm going to use a dark brown to draw the hair texture with the fine brush marker. Now I'm drawing finer lines to create the hair texture. Next, create a new layer for the loose hair strings. I'm using light brown color with the fine brush marker. Then I use the sharp colored pencil brush in dark brown color to add more texture to the hair strings. Okay, let's work on the makeup layer. 
I continue to use the sharp colored pencil brush in dark brown color for the eyebrows. Next, I use black color with Sketch Basic Brush to draw the eyes details. Then, I switched to the dark brown color to draw the crease lines at the eyelids. For the eyelashes, you can either use the Sketch Basic or the Sharp Colored Pencil Brush. For the pupils, I use the Sketch Basic to color in light brown. Then select another color in a darker value for the shading. I'm trying to choose a color for the eyeshadow. I think I'm gonna go with a peachy tone color. You should put the eyeshadow in a new layer below all the eyelashes and the eyeliner so it doesn't interfere with each other. Then use the marker blender to smooth the lines. And I add a color to the eyeshadow one more time. For the lips, I use a peachy tone color with the Sketch Basic brush. Draw two small circles and a bigger one like this for the lip shape. Then slowly build up the shape from there. Choose a darker value of the lip color to fill in for the shading. And choose a deeper value of the color one more time to refine the shading. Then use black color to draw the lines between the lips. I draw this on the body outlines layer. Just in case we need to change the lips color later, then it won't get interfered too much. I think I want to add a little bit more of brown color to the eyeshadow, so let's see what happened. Now that I'm done with the body coloring, I'm going to start to work with the garments and accessories. Create a new layer for sweater color 1 and use the lightest gray color with the broad marker.
Next, create a new layer for sweater color two. Use the medium gray and the broad marker for the shading. And next, create a new layer for color 3. Use the darkest gray from the palette with the fine brush marker to refine the shading. Now that I finish with the sweater, and let's work on the denim skirt. Create a layer for denim color 1. Use the light blue with the broad marker to color the base. When I color the denim, I like to make this rough streaky texture and then I use the marker blender to blend just a little bit. It will still leave the paper texture to the artwork, which is kinda nice for the denim. Let's work on the shading. Use the medium indigo color from the palette with the fine brush marker to create the denim watch look. And next, use the darkest indigo color to refine the shading. For this layer, I want to make the wrinkle texture, so just lightly bleed the lines when blending. I'm going to show you how to create the worn denim look on this skirt. Go back to the design layer, use the sketch basic and black color to draw the lines where you want the worn look to be. And go to each layer for the indigo color that we've already worked so the shading will stay at the appropriate order. Okay, now let's work on the pink boots. Use the lighter shade of pink in the palette with the broad marker to fill in the base. Then use the dark pink with the fine brush marker for the shading. Now that I finished with all the coloring, let's add the highlight to the artwork. Create a new layer on the very top. Use white color with sketch basic brush to draw where the highlights needed.
I'm going to give some final touch to the makeup. Add some soft highlight to the lower lip. And a little bit at the corners of the eyes. I'm gonna add a blush on to her cheeks. Use a pinkish color with the fine brush marker to color on the same layer of the eyeshadow. And then blend it with the marker blender. Now the fashion figure is pretty much done. Next, I'm gonna work on the black inky brush strokes. In case you want to add more movement to your work, or make your work stand out more from the plain white background. This technique is pretty cool. What I do is that I just kind of exaggerated the outline of the figure. Just play with the size of the brush. I go with the thicker brush first and then add some finer lines to complete each other. Next, let's make some paper background. Use light gray color with paper texture brush. I avoid putting the paper texture into the figure area because the artwork is translucent, so it might look a little messy. When you completely fill the background, you can tap tap here and there for more texture. I want to show you another method that you can play with the paper texture. Create the new layer on the very top and set it on linear burn. When you color the paper texture, it will appear as texture on the artwork, in case you want to have that texture look. Let's zoom in to see the texture that I'm talking about. For the final step, I want to show you how to create more depth to the entire artwork. Create a new layer on the very top and set it on a linear burn. Use the soft airbrush which comes with the Procreate app with light skin color. You can adjust the contrast level at the opacity bar. I'm gonna do the same thing to the hair and garments but I want to change the color to light gray so the garments doesn't look too orange. So we at the end now. Congratulations to you who are so patient and made yourself learn to draw fashion illustration today. Please subscribe to my channel and give a like to this video. 
it really helps improving my YouTube performance. You can look around for what I have available to help you learn more at my Etsy shop and my Amazon bookshop page. Again, all links are in the description area. Please leave a comment or DM me if you have any questions or requests. Happy drawing!